Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all our listeners here at Sembang Sehat by Sehat Sehat. Once again, you're with me, Mike Azmin and... I'm Najwa. And today, we're going to talk about working out from home. And we got a very special guest today because he is a personal trainer, he's certified coach in Kettlebell and also in TRX. Wow. So guys, please welcome our very special guest, Abang Azlan Zain. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cuma 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 kita punya abang hari ni kan? Ya, yeah, saya sangat cuma saya tu. Mana tu lah? Saya pandang di sini ke? Pandang di sana? Mana mana boleh pandang? Ah, mana oh, okay. Yang okay. penting pandangannya ab- ada ada kat abang. Ah, ah. <laughs> jangan. Kau janganlah. <laughs> okay. Abang nak pandang saya pun boleh. Tahu? Itu susah sikit Alamak. Oh. <laughs> kita cuba kita try. <laughs> Kena reject <laughs> Tak, reject daripada apa tak apa Kena reject on camera <laughs> tau kan Eh, producer, cut kan <laughs> Jangan marah eh, saya suka bergurau <laughs> Aduh, yo Okay, Alhamdulillah So, very very good start to our morning here kan hmm. ha, Pagi-pagi hmm. pagi-pagi ni So, Abang Lan um, Cause you're, since you're new here kan So, sihat-sihat ni kita biasanya cerita pasal Workout lah, pasal fitness, pasal diet Pasal hmm. uh, mindset apa semua kan So, kita panggil abang hari ni sebab nak cerita pasal working out from home Specifically okay. about workouts lah So sebelum kita mula deep into our topic Boleh tak introduce cerita sikit pasal dia abang sikit eh? Saya, saya ni saya tak ada apa-apa Saya ni ah, audience saja. <laughs> tak ada, 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 ada that's, that's humble eh, dia, dia, dia ada humble kan eh. Lepas tu dengan macam kom- Tak boleh lah, tercarut lagi tak pasal-pasal Bilik ni tak ada masa untuk humble eh, yeah. okay. Okay. Semua, semua belagak kat sini Saya saya ikut uh, arahan uh, Tuan Penebit okay. <laughs> Tuan Penebit kat situ Pasal lah okay. ah, sana. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yang paling okay. muda tu yang Penebit ah, ah. Okay, okay saya dalam bidang fitness uh, boleh mix eh English BM ke? Ah campur yeah. je ah, ojak kan. Ah, okey okey. No uh, in fitness line sekejap kira daripada uh, end of 2005 until now lah. So roughly <laughs> berapa tahun tu? Dah 12, 17 tahun? 17, 17 tahun. tahun. Ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Sama umur dengan producer kita lah. Eh producer 17. Tambah tiga oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so, Tambah tiga, tambah tiga <laughs> tak tambah empat dah Tambah tiga tambah satu <laughs> Okay So dalam 17 tahun lah As a fitness uh, enthusiast And as a fitness professional lah So my main uh, forte is I'm into uh, muscle building uh, Basically using kettlebell And using TRX like uh, Mike mentioned just now lah So uh, I work in many gyms That you can think of Fitness first. Fitness first. Celebrity fitness. Uh, back then, the one that been closed. True Colour fitness. Or oh, true fitness. True fitness. Yeah, sempat. Sempat. And then I've uh, been with uh, as a freelancer with Chi Fitness right now. And I also do uh, personal training and group class uh, elsewhere also. Okay. Uh, itulah. So, uh, s- satu benda yang kau tak mention eh. Ha. Uh, Academy TV 3. <coughs> Academy uh, TV 3. Uh, dulu, uh, dulu, sebelum saya <laughs> masuk, uh, apa... Masuk bidang fitness ni saya ambil uh, bidang penyiaran uh, Dengan nama glamour dia Academy TV3 lah like Mike mention hmm. Nama tak berapa glamour dia MIIM Yes uh, ah. Okay So uh, I been uh, diploma in broadcasting Alhamdulillah uh, One oh. of the uh, top 5 uh, For flat tak silap Apa? Power gila si GPA Si GPA tinggi lah Dah humble dah hilang lah Dah hilang dah humble ni Dah 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 So and then uh, What makes me jump into fitness Is because like uh, Semuanya happen When I was like 20 years ago mm-hmm. Because uh, After SPM I find out that my life Ada journey Ada macam turn over sikit So and then I decided that After SPM I want to do two, three things So I want to be a movie star, action movie star like Bruce Lee ke, Jackie Chan ke. That's number one. Mm. Alright, number two, if I cannot be a movie star, I can be a TV presenter. Mm-hmm. Glamour, glamour punya benda lah. Ya lah. And then... Kalau the, tidak, tidak tak ada makna masuk Academy ah, Media lah. And, and then uh, the third one will be, I will be a fitness guy. Oh no, no, sorry. The second one, I want to be like a uh, martial artist lah. Okay. Uh, so... So alhamdulillah yang ketiga tu dapat, dapat sampai alhamdulillah. sekarang. Okay. Itulah dia. So Seru. martial arts ni apa yang selain silat apa benda kau ngajar lagi? Ah uh, saya pernah belajar taekwondo sekejap, uh. lepas tu saya pernah belajar aikido sekejap. 
Ui, banyak juga. Ha. Patutlah suka bergolek-golek di lantai. Ha. 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 Ada ada kisah golek-golek di lantai tu. Pasal apa? Ha, masa saya di Akademi TV3, dia orang buat induction day lah. Hari Suai Kenal lah. Ha, the first day tu kan? The yang first ha. day tu. Okay, lepas tu dia orang suruh saya kenalkan diri saya lah. Saya kata semua orang, semua orang serta, Hai kawan-kawan, saya gini-gini. Saya cakap, poyonya. So, saya cakap, saya kata nama saya sekian. Lepas tu saya buat Aikido punya rolling. Saya pun tu guling-guling. Lepas tu diorang gelarkan saya uh, Lan Tenggiling sebab saya suka berguling. <laughs> so nama tu lekat lah sampai saya habis college dekat situ lah. Tapi, ah, kuat, lah. tapi kuat banyak juga kan abang punya bidang. Macam kira berlari-lari jugalah. Ah, bidang saya lari-lari juga. Tu, fitness kiranya macam benda tu tak adalah sama. It, it goes completely macam opposite lah juga kalau orang kata kan. What makes you macam boleh discover your own path? Walaupun abang macam ambil benda ni Tapi uh, abang buat benda lain So uh, A bit spiritual juga So because saya Buat solat hajat Saya uh. doa So saya doa Ya Allah uh, Tunjukkan saya jalan yang Ataupun bidang yang saya boleh hmm. uh, Tapi uh, Sebab ada pepatah orang putih kata God works in mysterious way uh. So perjalanan tu pun macam uh, Mysterious, mysterious juga lah Dia lebih kepada ular ke roller coaster? Ah uh, ada dua-dua. Oh, oh okey. Okay. <laughs> ah uh, so so hidup kau pun macam kau punya nickname ah tenggiling sikit ah. Dia ah, rolling sikit. Tenggiling rolling sikit. Rolling sikit. Rolling sikit. <laughs> uh, basically itu itulah cerita saya. Eh apa sah kita melarat melaut <laughs> <laughs> melarat-larat sangat ni. Melarat ke tenggiling? <laughs> tenggiling. <laughs> Ah uh, biasa lah kita kita ni macam ni sebab nama pun sembang kan. Ah uh, <laughs> nama sembang eh. Uh, uh. Asal tak boring dengan saya sudah. Oh tak apa. Uh. Susah nak boring dengan kau doh. Aku dah training kau lama. Aku tahu takkan boring ah. Uh. Saya takut so, penerbit saja boring dia macam abang ni bila nak berhenti bercakap ni. <laughs> <laughs> Jangan marah ya abang gurau. Minum jap minum jap. <laughs> okay uh, so Lan so um, tak boleh yeah. minum dulu tak apa. Hmm. Boleh minum sambil aku cakap tak ada hal. Oh okay okay. okay. So um, when did you start going into kettlebell? Because macam people orang ah biasanya uh-huh. kalau dia start dia tak mas- dia masuk either dia akan fokus kat dumbbell ataupun barbell or uh-huh. any kind of like macam olympic lifting ah uh-huh. tapi kau tiba-tiba masuk terus ke kettlebell like macam why okey cerita tu bersambung daripada so- lepas solat hajat tu oh ada solat hajat ah, ni sebab tadi tadi sambung ke ah tadi bermakna juga eh solat hajat ni punya hasil lepas tu dia bersolat hajat tu sebab few days after that solat hajat okey Uh, waktu tu masih ada lagi pesta buku antarabangsa dekat PWTC mm-hmm. uh, Year end of 2001 lah Lepas tu Abin jalan keling 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 So you know that at that kind of event You akan jumpa buku-buku yang pelik-pelik Yang tak pernah jumpa dekat mana-mana pasaran pun So I singgah dekat satu booth Magazine booth mm-hmm. I serak-serak-serak I jumpa satu majalah Nama dia Muscle Media Okay. So masa media masa majalah tu pun kat US dah tak ada lagi tau. Okey. Sebab so, tu dalam sel tu ada so I buka-buka ada gambar seorang uh, ex uh, Russian punya special force guy nama dia Pavel Satsulin. That guy is very lean lepas tu dipegang kettlebell kat sini. Lepas tu dia kata burn fat this without this honor of doing aerobics. I said what? This honor eh? Hmm dia dia this honor eh. This honor. <laughs> Maknanya dia memandang rendah pada kad dia betul-betul. Oh, itulah dia. Pak cik Rusia tu kan. So, <laughs> aku baca-baca-baca dalam that the uh, tu article, he was mentioning how to teach you to do single arm uh, pistol squat, uh, single leg pistol squat. Mm-hmm. And then how to do single arm push up. And then how to do uh, Russian tactical pull up. Mm-hmm. So, dekat situ I belajar about this guy. I belajar about this guy and then uh, I want to learn directly from that guy. That was about 2001. Okay. So alhamdulillah 10 tahun lepas tu 2010 I waktu tu alhamdulillah ada duit sikit. So I pergi dekat Copenhagen, so I meet him pergi kat Denmark. Pergi kat Denmark take my first kettlebell certification as him as the uh, chief instructor. So yeah, so from, from that on I will I'll be with him in this in his uh, circle, uh, circle lah. Circle lah. Okay. Ah uh, hmm, so dia dekat Russia guy. So basically you read about this guy when you were younger and then tahu-tahu terjumpa dia pula. Terjumpa dia pula. Ada uh, uh, pesta buku antarabangsa tu. Huish. Ah uh, so aku buka tu cakap ah uh, I was like really fat guy, fat kid back day. Okay. Ah uh, I was like near 76 kilo with mm-hmm. my 5 feet 2. So saya sangat Doraemon ketika itu. Saya jalan macam ni pun. <laughs> okay. Tak ada seorang awek pun mau keluar dengan saya. Okay. Ah uh, lepas tu Uh, and then when I figure out So I want to learn from this guy And I want to buy my kettlebell So lepas tu My fitness journey start Dari situlah Kat situlah macam-macam 
roller coaster ular semua ular, ada kan okay. and then i find finally meet him uh, in 2010 lah uh, and then i meet him again in 2011 and 2013 per mm. okay uh, for another certification juga lah so okay ramai orang tak tahu lah yang uh. kettlebell ni actually is an in between is a is something after dumbbell Uh-huh. Ha, ke I silap dia Before dumbbell ke after dumbbell Like bila benda ni terjadi Okay ha. History of kettlebell ni uh, We can say like this It's like It's uh, originally uh, from Europe Because okay. uh, Russian claim Ada dalam rekod dia orang Ada tahun 1704 Ada dalam Bahasa Rusia dia lupa nak nama catatan tu Dia kata By 1704 uh, They mention about kettlebell okay. hmm. Tapi Dekat Scotland They also have a record there The uh, People uh, Juggling kettlebell Juggling kettlebell Juggling kettlebell As uh, like, uh, Dia juggle macam circus tu Kettlebell uh, Yes kettlebell <laughs> yeah. So um, Russian claim Is from them So the uh, Scottish claim also Is from them So I take jalan tengah I say It's from Europe Because Russian pun from Europe and then Scottish, Scottish pun from Europe. Europe yeah. So basically, it's like uh, the European lah. We can consider European. Uh, they use it to, you know, you know, uh, Dutching. Uh-huh. So, they nak timbang barang. Timbang, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, beli barang semua. So, Dutching yang berat tu is the kettlebell. And then, mm-hmm. they taruh the stuff lah. And then, they balance out lah. Macam Dutching lah. So, in their free time, these people, these European, kita nak buat apa lah. Kita lepas beli barang, jual barang ni. Eh, mai kita baling-baling benda ni kita borong baling-baling baling-baling baling and then that's how it started. Wow. Dia baling ke tebel. Dia tak main, dia tak swing apa semua dia tak baling. Tak ada. Dia dia main-main. Dia just play. Sampai sekarang ada lagi teknik, <coughs> excuse me. Teknik tu like kettlebell passing. Meaning that you and your partner stand in, in quite distance. So your partner throw the kettlebell to you, you catch. And then dia throw balik. Lepas oh, tu macam-macam baling kettlebell. Macam, kettlebell, baling kettlebell. Eh? Ada brand tak wow. jual lepas ni? Tapi boleh, jangan boleh, boleh, jangan boleh, buat boleh, indoor boleh. eh. Oh, jangan, jangan buat indoor. indoor. Okay, ha. Uh. Preferably buat atas tanah Sebab buat indoor Kalau buat indoor Pecah lantai ah uh, Lepas tu Sama ada lantai pecah Atau mungkin terlalu pecah oh, ah, okay. So that Dia orang main-main dari situ Lepas tu And then dia orang dapat Dapat ilham Dapat inspirasi Apa semua And then that's become lah And then they get stronger from that And then they kata Okay why not we combine These two kettlebell Dengan satu rod Or satu besi in between So hmm. it become Uh, a miss, barbell. Uh, a miss barbell A it barbell A uh. barbell Or is call it the miss barbell Meaning that Dulu kan kalau tengok Old times uh, strongman dulu Barbell mm-hmm. sekarang kan Lepe ah, yes. So you have to reload it mm. uh, Old times strongman dulu Dia ambil bola-bola Barbell Yes Ah, uh. uh, So Why not we combine it into uh, Another equipment So jadi barbell Why not kita buat kecil sikit Jadilah dumbbell Mm-hmm. Ah, So dia mm-hmm. the origin is there So bermula dengan dia orang main-main Untuk kuatkan badan Tapi surprisingly Kat China pun ada juga history People buat kettlebell daripada batu Okay ah, Okay if you google Dia buat kettlebell ah, Kalau European yang kettlebell bulat yes. China punya kettlebell Dia macam Di- jongkong emas tu Yes ah, ah, Dia macam blacksmith punya anvil tu Blacksmith kan tu lah. Tapi batu Lepas ah. tu uh, Shaolin Master semua Baling-baling juga mm-hmm. ah, Dia mula je dengan baling-baling <laughs> Ah dia sejarah dia, dia mula dengan baling besi tu ataupun baling batu tu just fooling around the, with, with mm. those tools lah. Mm. Tapi dia, bila okay. dengar abang lain explain macam ni macam kita boleh cakap yang sebenarnya yeah. abang lain ni memang specialist ah dalam ah, kita memang ah. <laughs> so you you a personal trainer right? Ah yes. So when you train your your clients uh-huh. usually dia orang you train them with kettlebell or benda lain? Eh uh, the universal answer for it Is uh, it depend. Okay. Uh, kalau dalam you tanya macam fitness uh, professional yang bagus, dia boleh cakap dua ayat ni. It depend. Okay. okay. So maknanya uh, some of the kettlebell exercises, mm. I won't say some, I most of the kettlebell exercises yeah. actually mass population tak berapa sesuai. Oh, so I, I have to teach with whatever they have also at their houses or at their office. Mm-hmm. Macam kalau klien tu nak kita training dia dekat office macam ni kan. Mm-hmm. So I won't force them. A uh, uncle, a ma'am, madam, buy my kettlebell, blah blah blah. Tak. Mm-hmm. I think oh, your office you ada apa? Ada kursi. Office you ada meja. Mm, Why not we work with your what you have in the equipment? Yep, you yep. just bring your exercise mat, and yep. then I bring some of the balls, ke wrist yep. band, ke. I work with that. Mm. For some some student yang want to invest your kettlebell, are they buy? Because I have mm. a one student. 
uh, they, he follow me from my Facebook page oh. since 2014 or so. He follow me or so. Uh, he he spend a lot of money. He buy, he buy two or three kettlebells lah. So, but you can June eh? Ah, bukan bukan bukan. Okay. <laughs> June tu is another mem- our G member juga lah. So it depend. Kalau client tu, uh, unless kalau client tu willing to spend, yep. and then the client have a space at the, his ah uh, their home or their premises, mm. and then dia sanggup nak beli. <coughs> Babel ke apa semua And then I will train with that lah mm. okay. ah, Tapi yang ada pernah terjadi Client ni loaded juga And then they ask me uh, Bro, uh, you boleh suggest equipment yang bagus-bagus tak? I have a lot of my friends who sell equipment Jimmy equipment uh, <coughs> Layu China ada India I'm not so sure Tapi I also have an Indian friend yang jual Seperti mana So basically I have the circle lah So I told him, ah uh, sir, you nak yang macam mana? I have a good one. Since that, ah uh, he's making ah uh, seven figures ah, per year. Yeah. So dia memang ada duit lah. Ah, so tak ada hal lah. Tak ada hal lah. Ni. Okay, and then sekali missing in action. And then he called me about few months later. Sekali dia beli. Lepas tu dia beli. Maaf cakap lah. Dia beli yang lawyer punya kan. Mm. Yang mm. boleh dapat lebih baik punya kan. Ah yeah. uh, and then I find out that ah uh, that machine sebab dia dia beli uh, Dia beli Tak tanya orang dulu Kan okay, uh, And then That machine just like Collecting dust saja ah, okay. ah. Mm-hmm. So tak dipakai pun lah Beli mahal-mahal Beli, beli ma- ah. Ah, So meaning that Okay I'll, I'll suggest Okay If you want a home You have this kind of space This is a good one Good one Good one Tapi Orang kaya Kita tidak perlu tahu <laughs> Orang kaya ini <laughs> Macam mana So dia ada duit <laughs> Jadi dia mau beli barang Dia beli barang saja <laughs> ah, yeah. Kita sudah bagi <laughs> advice <laughs> Tapi dia tergil tidak mahu cek dengar cakap orang so so be it lah ah uh, so that makan lama lah because ah uh, you ask about the client tu yeah. kan so yeah, I work yeah. with what they have okay okay so uh, mostly your your clients umur berapa ah okay to be frank my client is like 50 and above oh, wow. most wow. of them most my personal okay. client 50 and above so mesti banyak macam issue kan yang macam ah, yeah, ah, sebab like, macam like, what kind of health issues do they, do they face ah macam oh like. okay okay that's an yeah. interesting story because in my roller coaster and snake uh, journey yeah. just now i stumbled upon a place called body tone body okay. tone they have this uh, vibration training equipment mm. what vibration? uh you stand macam Mission apa tu? Ah, you stand atas tu, mission tu vibrate. Oh, the shaking ah, tu eh. Ah, shaking okay, tu. Yeah. Tapi ini yang high-end punya. Ini okay. yang satu mesin dekat RM80,000. You satu mesin, dia boleh beli satu kancil. Ah, hmm. satu kancil ke? Uh, no, no, no. no. Bang, RM80,000 tu dah boleh beli um, uh, apa Vioz satu. Ah, dah boleh beli Honda City lah. No, no, no. I think RM8,000 something ah, okay. jugalah. Ah. Ah. So, <coughs> with that one, you boleh uh, like... Dia dengan duit Aisina yang dapat RM10,000 tu You boleh beli satu Ah, okay. ah with that equipment kan So I stumbled upon Where I was one of the senior instructor dekat situ And then the funny part is like uh, All the guys who are trainer there Okay all the guys Semua Semua abang-abang kan Semua bila Dia orang nak client yang Pakai two piece Pakai leggings uh, Lululemon uh, Sekarang ni Gymshark kan Oh okay. dia orang nak client yeah, macam tu je lah. Okay. They're not hot stuff lah They're not hot stuff lah ah. okay. But they forget that People yang hot stuff ni Biasanya tak ada duit Mak-mak dia orang, Pakcik-pakcik dia orang Banyak duit <laughs> Ah, So yang muda-muda ni Tak ada duit <laughs> Tak ada duit kan Muda-muda ni baru nak Orang nak. muda kata Bertatih lah ah. Tapi dia orang suka This hot chick So Hot chick saja. Oh Saya ambil dulu Saya train dulu Oh saya pun okay And then management dia kata Eh hey, bro uh, This auntie This lady This uncle Have this knee issue Ankle issue Elbow issue Segala-gala issue lah Ada yang lower back issue Allah. Spine issue kan It Semua yang, yang sakit-sakit Semua Bro, hantar pada yeah. pakcik Pakcik lah kena jaga Orang yang sakit ni yeah. Okay so I have to like train So in other words It's like a blessing for me Okay since that I have received a lot of injured people mm-hmm. So it's like Open my eyes into How to train people Uh, how to train this kind of uh, demographic okay. uh, The ayat hmm. is like demographic So, bila I And then, they teach me how to Communicate with these uh, elderly folks hmm, okay. uh, Because like uh, Dengan hot chicks Kita boleh Bro, bro, sekejap berhenti je I nak selfie Ciki Ciki Lepas tu Sini, sini kan Lepas tu, buka huh? dia Ambil dambil bodoh-bodoh Macam ni kan Dengan auntie-auntie uncle uh, You tak boleh buat You kena Tanya dia apa khabar apa semua kan. Lepas tu kalau dia nak 
cerita pasal oh anak ai degil suami ai bekak cerita kita kena layan kena dengar je dengan dengan penuh perasaan kan ah lepas tu kita kata dia also therapy session at the same time ah therapy session nanti you, you, you kalau boleh jalan jangan jalan macam ni macam ni kita pun cerita macam tu so in other words it's like uh, i learn so that bila people dah macam ni and then i dapat i dapat inspiration lah and then lepas tu because i jumpa banyak sangat orang sakit I also learn with the kettlebell macam mana kita nak apa uh, prehab rehab orang menggunakan kettlebell juga. Hmm. Oh, see, boleh ya? Ah, ke? boleh, I mean, boleh. Like, ah, okay. Like macam like you when you help out with my mum pun it's like macam tunjuk lah macam ah, dia ni pakai apa yes, kettlebell. Ah, so ah. macam boleh ke like uh, orang like macam orang yang mm-hmm. probably have like this like old ah, people issues lah kan ah, macam ah. sakit sakit uh, tulang ke apa ah, kan. Ah. Is it okay for them to use kettlebell ke I mean, in a certain way? It depends juga. Okay, memang depends. Yeah, kan? it depends juga. Sebab so, kalau most likely people who are 50 and above ni uh, what they need is muscle strength. What mm-hmm. they need is muscle strength mm-hmm. And then And Kalau Some yoga instructor will say ah, they, We have to work on their mobility also That for me is that uh, Once you dah certain age And then you jarang stretching Okay like, Let's say one uncle lah eh, Dah 50 something mm-hmm. Okay Dalam hidup dia Dia tak pernah buat hamstring stretch Meaning that you bend over And then you try to touch your toes Close, yeah. You turun dia macam mana Bend over pun Dia tak boleh Dia hanya sampai dekat uh, uh, Just above his knees So Ah uh, to work in his mobility and the flexibility took long time he might he might get bored he might get uh, uh demotivated just doing that stretch Understood. for me just okay all right uncle you tak boleh bend forward okay never mind we do exercise to strengthen but you are bending forward like you have to do a lot of crunches okay uh, because bunches are bending forward and then let's say that you are too hunched okay just like we do exercise to strengthen to open up your chest and shoulders that's it So I just work working on the strength, and then I show them some stretching or something. Just uh, enough for them to do their daily activity without hassle or without pain. Ah, uh, so that's mm. that's basically what they need. So basically, boleh je work out kat rumah sahaja. <laughs> boleh je work out kat rumah. Mm. Tapi sebab people kalau work out dekat gym, they want the hype. They want mm. the keseronokan ber work out beramai ramai. The environment, the ah, atmosphere. Yeah. So that uh, I will always mention this. Okay, I have uh, this kind of. Uh, This kind of opinion lah. So it's like people exercise depend on situation, location, and uh, social. Social. So kalau uh, people tu location, let's say is the gym is very close to the office or to the house to the house. So basically lagi senang orang tu nak pergi workout. Yeah. Like kalau macam my eh, my you stay dekat setapak mm. and then you pergi gym dekat kota kota dan mansara uh. itu mengambil bertapak-tapak anda ada beres tapak tu uh, nak yalah, bertapak, tapak, bukan Apa? setapak sahajalah yeah. uh. bertapak-tapak untuk sampai so jadi you need to have a will power to go to the gym because yeah. like Mm-mm. rumah aku dah lah hujung dunia sini dan mansara hujung dunia sana. sini uh. betul sebab you naik duke highway pun hujung-hujung uh. sampai yes. uh, so jangan ikut the... NKVE sekali NKVE, NKVE sekali yeah. so you have to like will power to datang And then, number two, kalau you tak ada willpower, and then better you ambil gym dekat-dekat rumah you atau um, dekat even your office, which is like the office near to ah. uh, Kota Damat Sarah, kan? Yeah. Okay. Then, number two is like uh, the situation. Okay. Okay. Let's say gym dekat. Gym dekat. Tapi, uh, situation dia, you tak boleh nak pergi sebab apa workload you macam ni, macam ni, macam hmm. ni. So, in other words, like, workload you haywire, so better you work out dekat rumah. Sebab apa kalau nak Lepas kerja pun, you kerja habis pukul 11, gym dah tutup pukul 10.30. So, macam, you nak buat apa? You nak bangun, uh, lepas tu you penat. Takkan you nak bangun 6.30 pagi, bersungguh-sungguh pagi pergi gym. Ada member macam tu. Ada member macam tu. Uh, kita kenal member macam tu. Kita ada ki- mutual friend. Kita ha. ada mutual friend macam tu. Ha. But, that require a lot of willpower to do that. Yep. Uh, so, meaning that, for me, my approach is that, okay, uh, apa yang senang pada client tu, apa yang senang pada student tu, I work with that. Okay. Haa. Uh, I work with that sebab kalau kita nak suruh dia buat benda yang susah, benda yang dia terpaksa hassle, ah uh, chances of him or her to drop out is very high. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah. so better kita suruh dia buat benda yang dia selesa and then dari situ kita build up, build up, build up. Mm. Okay, uh, it sounds like now it feels like macam like dia kena ada kesesaan comfort, comfortability factor dalam tu. Yes. Ah baru uh. nak work out. But but I'm attracted to the fact that your clients sebenarnya adalah umur 50 dan ke atas. Yes. Right? And the issue is your your big issue for you know the difference between younger people and your clients and uh-huh. others. Sekarang is that how you interact with them, right? Uh-huh. And and, macam how do you know 
what are the goals for your clients? Macam, is it the same like orang-orang muda? Or, diorang datang kat you? Diorang nak specific goals yang macam diorang nak jadi lebih sihat ke? Oh, okay. Physically more capable ke? Or, so, meaning that the goals are okay. Yeah. yeah. The goal is different from the youngsters and the elders. Okay. Mm-hmm. That sometimes are way different. Mm. Okay. Elders, okay, they know that they can be, they cannot be any of the uh, fitness model whatsoever. They said, yeah. bro, okay, I just want to keep fit and healthy. And then I just like want to enjoy my apa, uh, elderly life dengan selesa lah. Mm. Uh, so, their goal is like senang. So, kita just make sure that he have or he or she have like a good exercise routine. And safe exercise routine also. And then to make them stronger and then fitter. Mm. Uh, youngsters ni sebab apa? Barangkali sebab belum lagi mendapat apa petunjuk Jok. dan hidayah. Ah, yeah. ah. So, jadi mm. youngsters ni dia punya goal sekejap kat sini, sekejap Jok kat sini. Uh, so, because that uh, I admit that I teach a lot of older folks. When mm. I have to teach mm. classes of a lot of youngsters, I have some issues with it. Okay. Oh. Because uh, youngsters, uh, they want it. They want it. Pam, 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 they pam, want it quick pam. and fast sahaja. Workout yang pam, 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 every day. So because they are young, they are in their twenties and then maybe they are in their teens. Okay, yeah. they can run around the gym, turun naik. They can do uh, American Ninja Warrior challenge for seven days straight without yeah. getting injured. But once you go above thirty or even above twenty yeah. six, that's the different ball of game. Yeah. yeah, because like recovery is not with you anymore, brother or sister. <laughs> so. Orang-orang muda ni biasanya uh, dah kena baru dia, baru dia alamat, baru dia sedar. Baru sedar. Sebabnya uh, yang basically goal, okay, ya. Yeah. Orang tua dengan orang muda dia memang uh, ikut nafsu, mm-hmm. ikut nafsu mereka, dia orang ada goal berbeza. Mm-hmm. Tapi generally, younger or elder, your goal is that number one, you have to get stronger. Mm-hmm. Whatever yeah. happen, get stronger. And then you have to move better. Okay. Then, to get stronger and more better, you tak boleh uh, every day ball to the wall, ball to the wall, 100% push, 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 sampai besok koma. Tak boleh pergi kerja. Tak boleh. So, just like, you have to know that when to push, when to back off. So, seni push and back off ni, banyak orang muda tak tahu. Okay. Ah, uh, So, meaning that if I get a younger person, uh, nak, I nak educate him or her or educate the class that you need to have push Someday you have to push. push Someday you have to pull up, pull back a bit. Yeah. So orang muda ni, ala pergi kelas abang lah ni tak tak berpeluh, boring, bla 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 bla. Saya kata kita bukan cakap kita bisa kita sekarang ni semangat ke abang ni. Ini kalau adik aku aku pang sekali. <laughs> kan? ha, kalau adik aku kan, tapi adik orang <laughs> kan, adik orang, adik orang anak orang, kan? adik orang anak orang, tapi adik sendiri pang sekali kan. Because I was like. I was like brought up in that uh, my era is like the end and the beginning or something. Yes. Because you guys are the millennials. Yep. You guys are the millennials. I'm of the Gen Z, Gen Y. Gen, Gen Y. Gen Y, Y kan. Uh. So, my era is like the old school guy is still there. Mm. If I learn silat whatsoever, macam you tengok kung fu movies kan. Sifu. Sifu. I've been to this kind of guru. So, they need you to bow. Sifu. Sifu. Oh, hai song song, tanya ya. Oh, dia macam dia hormat guru dia kan. Kalau boleh dia sujud kat guru, dia nak sujud. Ah, okay. Memang. Ha. I've been to that, to that kind of guru also. And then, to tackle that kind of people lain. And then, bila I get, get older, okay, that era is stop. And then, younger people punya millennial. Mm, coming lah. Uh, ah. Millennial, younger people, TikTok millennial punya mm. geng-geng kan. Mm-hmm. Uh, TikTok punya geng-geng datang. So, for me, it's like, I tengah-tengah. Tapi, I bless, Alhamdulillah, because, uh, from the older guy, I belajar. Yeah. Okay. From the younger boy also, uh, younger guys also, I belajar. Mm, yeah. So, tapi the challenge is like, now macam mana nak educate uh, the value from the old folks to the next generation. To the next generation. generation. Okay. Yeah. Because like, yeah, like I mentioned this now, if you are my brother or you're my sister, pang sekali if you you disobey or you degil kan. Ah, tapi tak boleh. Okay. Tapi orang. So, I have to like, have to work within their way to get the goal. So, basically, the goal sama tau. And approach sama. Just like the youngsters are uh, driven by the, the kalau bahasa Islam, dia nafsu Su, lah. Ha. This is like, I want it now. I want, no. Yeah. I want, not now. I want it yesterday. Yeah. I don't know. I want it last week. Uh, so, just like, youngsters have need to be cooled down, meaning that life is not like, you just like, pop, 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 datang. 
hmm. macam Aladdin nah eh? Aladdin is lamp okey hmm. bagi tiga ha- hajat no cannot life is like ah uh, tunggu buat approach and then sikit 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 dia so on, same thing about fitness jugaklah ya, dia perjalanan tu yang penting sangat ah, ah. the journey is important hmm. so macam mana apa effect sana like macam um, kalau let's say when you're working out older people lah mm-hmm. let's go older people first kan right? huh? dia punya workout like what kalau dia pakai uh, strength training kan uh-huh. what equipment is is usually best lah kalau body weight ke apa kalau body weight is body weight usually the best one Uh, most of the time for me body weight suffice suffice dah suffice ha. sebab this old uh, this old people yeah, excuse me this old people kalau you nak dia orang suruh you buat barbell clean and jerk memang tak boleh memang lah. tak dapat memang tak ada orang kejam macam tu bro ha. eh, nak suruh snack semua ha, eh. tak ada just like dapat dia orang buat good push ups on their toes as a good goal already push up on your toes 5 to 6 reps is a good goal already. Okay. Uh, so that like you guys mentioned the earlier topic kan. Uh, so for them it's like uh, they actually don't need to go to the gym because I can come to your house and then okay. just like at their luxury at their keselesaan I just can teach them to get to use uh, to do push up and to do squat with the, hmm. what they have. Okay. Kalau rumah dia ada sofa whatever kita buat glute bridge pakai sofa dan sebagainya. So Uh, in other words, that uh, this old sometimes these older people so they faham then they doesn't like the this crowd at the gym, ah uh, so they just like okay they prefer to work out at home. But there also some older guys also or older ladies so they like to go to the gym also. Ah uh, so dia it depends semuanya. Okay, so kalau macam orang muda macam pula, I mean like yes, uh, let's say lah working adults lah, twenty uh-huh. one uh, kau dah kerja kan? Okay lah twenty twenty two macam uh-huh. tu, twenty one macam tu kan? Uh, all the way to dia 35 lah Udah okay. working adult punya kan Setengah orang cuak nak pergi gym okay. Setengah malas nak pergi gym uh-huh. Setengah memang tak fikir Tak tahu tak Rasa macam tak perlu pun workout In the first place hmm. So macam nak address Let's address one by one lah okay. Orang yang rasa tak perlu pergi workout ni like uh-huh. Macam dia membesar Rasa Alah main bola cukup Main main, main sukan cukup uh-huh. ah. Tapi macam nak Apa kepentingan sebenarnya Kau exercise Like workout Betul-betul workout With a focus on muscle Muscle building and strength lah Uh, okay, so opinion, bro. we address these uh, categories one by one. Eh? Okay, for those who yang uh, tak perlu lah pergi gym, aku dah pergi main futsal. Aku dah pergi badminton. Uh, for me, it's like, good for you. Jangan lupa, main bola, bola jari dah cukup dah. Bola bola jari. <coughs> Janganlah marah. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi <laughs> our Malaysian, eh, kita ambil kita punya Malaysian. <laughs> I don't okay. play as a hobby, okay? I know, I'm just joking. So, <laughs> national player, netball, saja nak main, oh, nak main. Oh, patutlah tinggi. <laughs> patutlah It's tinggi. It's okay, continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> jangan marah, eh? Certain, ya. Yeah. Certain, certain people, okay. Uh, I dah main futsal. I dah main badminton. Apa lagi yang orang Malaysia suka main sekarang? Ah, uh, I suka cycling dah. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, boleh. <laughs> But can you maintain that activities for about at least three times per week okay bro okay boleh 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 okay kalau you boleh uh, that's consider your exercise also for me is like okay kalau you go can go like three to four times per week boleh okay. then is they are considered to exercise okay but i will advise them ah uh, boleh but your sports require a lot of skills and cardio what you need to do is like sometimes you play sport certain sport ah uh, kalau muscle you tak kuat and then your movement when you do the exercise skill whatever Uh, tak betul you might get injured in your joints so it's advisable kalau bro kalau you main main gym bro you sepak bola tu macam Ronaldinho okey ai tak kenal yang baru-baru ni sebab ai uh, <laughs> zaman we stuck in that zaman uh, kan dah 2000 2002 2000 semua kan maknanya uh, german lawan dalam brazil pada uh, final so land ah ai kena geng-geng tu ai kena pak cik daud bekam dan kawan-kawan dia lah daud bekam dia bekam lah <laughs> so Uh, I will give that that reference lah. Sekarang ni apa tak tahu sana Cristiano no Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ah okey Cristiano Ronaldo lepas tu okey I will tell him okey kalau nak you nak record macam Cristiano Ronaldo kan lepas tu kita tunjuklah. Ah uh, okey tengok bro Cristiano Ronaldo kan wah ada six pack dia pun pergi gym dia angkat dumbbell macam ni macam ni macam ni kan. Ah uh, kita kita slowly cakap lah mm, kalau you pergi gym kuat oh, boleh boleh tendang lagi kuat. Ah uh. so that will address that tapi slowly lah janganlah Janganlah kita paksa paksa dia oh, kena work out ni. Jangan kita if you guys know movie Doremi Piramli. Lakshmana, Lakshmana yeah. Doremi semulalah. Ah dah semana Doremi. Doremi. The first Doremi, okay? The first Doremi. The first Doremi. Is... Doremi is... Bujak no tu bujak lapuk. Ah Aduh. the first Doremi yang dia apa tu? 
uh, dia kejar bini dia yang uh, siapa mati dulu dapat RM100. Ah uh, that that kind of movie lah, okay? <laughs> okay. So dalam movie tu, okay, P Ramli, okay just sharing with the new hmm. Okay, P Ramli, Ibrahim Din and uh, AR Tompel. AR Tompel ni bapa AR Badul lah. Yeah. Okay. Dia tiga orang pergi rumah satu orang pakai macam perompak. Dia merompak rumah orang tu. Dia jual apa? Dia jual berus gigi. Dia rompak rumah orang tu, dia pecah masuk. Kau mesti beli ini berus gigi. Ya, ya. Saya beli. Saya beli tu rumah tu. So, kita tak boleh tak boleh force orang macam tu. Ah ha, Sekali keluar, bila nak paksa orang tu. Awak jual berus gigi, tapi awak pakai macam pelamun, penyamun. Sekali, anak sedara kepada tuan rumah tu, polis keluar ada pintu. Pakcik, pakcik. Pencuri, pakcik. Waktu kata, jangan. Dia orang ni jual ubat gigi. Berus gigi. Ah, ha, So, <laughs> jangan kita hudson macam tu. Ha, jangan. Walaupun niat tu baik, tapi kita punya approach tu jangan salah. Ah, ha, ha. pun kita jangan salah. Okay. Then, that that address uh, tu. That address people. But, for me, like at least di main putsal tiga kali seminggu atau phone dah cukup. And then, we address people that like, uh, kata, dia cuak nak pergi gym eh. Hmm. Okay, okay. Number one is like, this is the gang who says that, okay. Uh, I nak badan I cantik dulu baru I pergi gym. Ah, ah ni yes. dia geng-geng geng-geng sama lah. I nak badan I sado dulu, ada badan I dah ready dulu I pergi gym. Why why does that happen? Is it because of insecurity or you're not confident with yourself? Uh, that's one factor yeah, and so then about, another me... factor is the media. Because okay. media always portray that okay, whoever goes to the gym wear Lululemon, mm-hmm. wear a uh, gym shark because this like uh, semua orang sekarang suka pakai Lululemon and gym shark. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. And then, uh, and then wherever that the models are six pack, semua kan mm. steroid guy cucu, and then yeah. the ladies like sikit sikit macam ni, macam ni posing kan. Apa? Uh, hashtag uh, apa tu? Uh, kettle buti hashtag buti semua kan. Okay. So the media says that mm, orang orang macam ni je boleh pergi gym. I yang ada perut seketul, ada ada man boobs tak boleh pergi. Yeah. So uh, it's like actually wrong concept. Maknanya, okay, diorang dapat majalan macam tu sebab diorang pergi gym. Yeah. Uh, so, hmm. gym is like tempat kita uh, hassle. Hmm. Macam, it's like for a blacksmith, dia kena ada bengkel dia untuk dia ketuk, uh, ketuk, 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 nak build up the sword or something. So, uh, the gym is the place. So, maknanya, these people kata, okay, kita kena slow talk dengan dia kata, dia orang dapat badan macam tu sebab dia orang pergi gym. Ah yeah. uh, bukan dia orang dah badan macam tu pergi gym. Oh, ah uh, patut itu pun kita kena slow talk dengan dia lah. Ah hmm. uh, then people yang cuak nak pergi gym. Ah uh, mungkin like you said insecurity just now. Yeah. Okay, so the truth is orang semua tak tak check out each other ni gym. So orang buat semua buat hal buat sendiri. Hasil yeah, yeah. Hasil. So the mindset of people oh kita pergi gym nanti orang tu tengok ai macam mana orang tu pun tak nak tengok tak, dulu. Tak ada mood, tak, tak ada masa. Mood, tak ada masa. <laughs> Sebab kalau dia nak dia nak tu unless orang yang datang gym untuk bersosial. Yeah. Ah uh, mm. they have like hidden agenda go to the gym. Mm. Ada masa ai kerja dulu Uh, I want to say I want to say the brand lah but brand yang kurus badan semua dia join di gym because hmm. apa dia orang nak dapat target market dalam gym hmm. you see okay. okay dia makan di certain product lepas tu dia workout kau-kau dia like, kurus lepas tu dia akan approach member eh aunty ni I makan supplement ABC I I kurus ah uh, dia orang ah uh, itu satu sebab orang pergi gym I makan supplement uh, ABC I kurus I workout aku kurus ah uh, lepas tu dia akan dapat lah uh, ada I pengalaman dia banyak hmm. Lepas tu, this gang, dia hasut member-member, member tu semua keluar, uh, beli barang dia. Ah, yeah. uh, Itulah cerita dia. So, hmm. so jangan risau nak cuak pergi gym, pergi je kat gym. Nanti akan jumpa kawan-kawan yang boleh tolong. Yep. Uh, okay. Jangan pergi tengok brother-brother ataupun sister yang angkat dumbbell, clean and jerk, semua tu ramai-ramai tu. Jangan, jangan pergi situ. Pergilah kelas-kelas Zumba dulu ke, kelas-kelas body pump dulu, body ke. Pump dulu ke, ataupun kelas-kelas yang kita selesa kat gym tu. Hmm. Uh, so, that's help lah. Okay So kalau macam like At home macam mana pula Like Some people like Memang Can't afford to go to not, Bukan not afford Tak ada masa nak pergi gym uh-huh. kadang-kadang mm. Busy nak yeah. mampus yeah. ke and, apa kan And tambah pula Bukan tak afford And also macam sekarang ni Dengan apa Covid Covid ah. lagi uh-huh. kan, uh, kan ada yang, Walaupun uh, dah buka gym uh. Tapi orang macam Still takut nak pergi semua yep. Is it uh. enough to like Work out from home I mean like The previous lockdown pun Was a, yeah. was a, was a good indicator Because macam After a while, hmm. you will lose that semangat. Nak like, macam nak like, that momentum, that motivation to ah. hit that hit that workout. Eh. Walaupun yeah, bench dah beli, bench dah ah, beli. Ah. And Apa, even and even for myself, the equipment will not be the same it, as as the gym. gym, gym yeah. Yeah. Ah. I will always like uh, bila workout je dekat rumah kan masa masa lockdown no, dan uh-huh. tu kan. Bila workout je, I macam oh 
Tak puas really, kan Really lah Kena angkat this weight je Sebab yeah, I tak nak The demotivation no, no, From not no, being no able To lift your normal weight ah, yeah. Yeah. There's okay, no okay, equipment okay. For me to weight, uh, to lift heavier Because It's not there Yeah, yeah. And then Sooner or later mm-hmm. Your performance will drop. drop Like If if you're working out For you know For looks It's uh-huh. fine But then if, if you work out If you train for performance It's a different idea yeah, it's, it's, it's a different concept mm-hmm. lah. So yeah it, Will you get The same You know, effectiveness working out from home mm-hmm. dengan buka kat gym. Okay, the simple answer no. Simple Bojam. answer no. Kejam, no. dia kejam. But, okay, but, okay. There's a but. There's a but. There's okay, a but. okay. I explain now. Alright, uh, the lockdown since last year and this year, alright, yep. it's like been devastated for almost for all of us. Okay, alright, everyone been affected. Okay, mm-hmm. so but it give you like one lesson. Okay, now okay, alright. Sepatutnya, okay, sepatutnya, alright, we work on the essential part of working out at the gym. Meaning that, okay, dekat gym, okay, tapi kita masing-masing tak tahu. Since semua tak ada Allah Ta'ala, kita tiba, tiba-tiba wabak ni datang and then semua orang macam jam, habis jam. Yeah. So, in other words sekarang ni, now kita dah tahu. So, kita dah tahu. Okay, alright. Yeah, we, memang feeling the different. Feeling the different. Maybe weight also different, maybe exercise equipment is different. Tapi, what we can do now, okay, sebab apa yang yang semua tu bak kata orang yang lepas tu janganlah dikenang. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Tapi what we can do now if you right, if you go to the gym right now, okay, work on the essential part of your training. Getting stronger, getting more flexible, getting more cardio base, okay? Yeah. Alright. Then bila you kita minta jauh eh, kita minta Allah Taala jauhkan pegang, pegang, jang, pegang, uh, pegang, minta Allah Taala ya Allah jauhkanlah janganlah ada lockdown lagi ya Allah amin ya rabbal alamin kan kan tak jauh eh so minta jauh pegang kayu <laughs> okey <laughs> sekarang ni okey sekarang ni the strategy is okay my instructor friends okey like last year mm-hmm. last year the first two to six weeks my instructor friends lah mari bersenam dengan saya menerima zoom Link ada di bawah. Sila bayar sekian-sekian untuk Zoom. Okay, alright. Lepas 6 minggu, dah masuk dekat-dekat nak raya tu, tak ada lagi orang post pasal workout. Semua post pasal uh, kopi dah golna. Lepas tu kita, hmm. mari kita memasak Maggi. Mari kita memasak, <laughs> memasak apa, uh, roti gardenia yeah. potong tiga macam tu kan. All those like, eh. Dah wacky-wacky sikit dah. Dah, last few weeks, wah, semangat tu. Wah, oh, macam ni, macam ni. Zumba dalam talian kan. Eh, tapi kenapa minggu ni pasal makan pula ni kan? Lepas tu bila gym dah buka. And then, this instructor yang pandai. Okay, they spend sikit duit. Dia beli more equipment. Like, I have one or two instructor. Okay. Uh, she she teaches uh, studio cycling, RPM. Yeah. So, she bought a uh, indoor bike. So that she can practice also. Yeah. Bila tu buka. And then, uh, that strategy works. Because she maintain her body weight. Tapi okay. sebelum... Lockdown yang terkejut semua orang. Okay, Abah kata lagi dua minggu. Lepas tu dua minggu hmm. lagi tu. Masing-masing mengembang. Eh. Hmm. Mas- yes. Masuklah diri saya. Saya pun mengembang. <laughs> kat bawah itu, kan? So, tapi. Bila kita tahu macam tu akan jadi. So, at least kita stand by. Alright. I buy maybe a pair of kettlebells. Okay, I buy maybe uh, 12 kilo kettlebell. Alright. So, I stand by. Okay, I, at the gym right now. I ada, I ada dumbbell. My workout at the gym. I buat, uh, okay. Seated press. Oh, seated press. Seated press. Katakan As in like duduk, maksud just... Seated press. Okay. Overhead ke apa? Overhead press. Okay. okay. Now, sekali, minta jauh. Sekali okay. kita lockdown. Sekali okay. lockdown. Okay, now we know how to do. So, just kita buat the same exercise but kita change sikit the program. Okay. So, alright. Memang feeling dia tak sama. Tapi, uh, kata orang tu tua ke? Orang tua, I lupa lah. Bila ada peluang tu, kita, kita pergi gym. Hmm. Okay, tapi kita kena jaga SOP lah. So, pergi gym. Lepas tu... Bila kita terpaksa lockdown ni minta jauh ya Allah, uh, kita dah ada backup plan. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, at first memang kita, alamak, kita punya camaraderie tak ada lagi nak work out yeah. at gym kan. Semangat tu tak Semangat ada. Tak ada. Tapi sebab kita kita terpaksa kita jadi macam ni tak. People who train at home, I will assume that as a minimalist. Okay. Minimalist, okay. So, uh, minimalist, sometimes minimalist approach is needed kalau keadaan tertentu. Sebab the uh, the one that inspire me to learn kettlebell is like because it's like been for the Russian Spetsnaz uh, tactical team. Okay. These people, bila dia orang buat Spetsnaz ni, uh, Russian dulu, dia orang bawa sebiji kettlebell. 
pergi dengan dia orang punya AK47. Kalau dia ada in fact hmm. dia work 47. And right and then dekat dia orang punya base camp dia just pacak satu pula bah. So what they do is like okay, dia woke up tiga exercise. Okay. Once you come to the pull up bar, shh, pull up. Once you get to the kettlebell, do kettlebell snatch. And then what else to do? Either you do single leg squat pistol or single arm push up. And then once again you come to the bar, they actually lima exercise lah. You do hanging leg raise. Okay. So five exercise, pure manual based exercise, but make them super strong. So yeah, maybe. Kawan-kawan tak ada nak, wah, oh, come on bro, come on girl, come on ladies yeah. kan. Okay, tapi, we have that mentality. Okay, now, uh, anyone watch Terminator 2? Mm-hmm. Yes, Terminator 2, Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor, mm-hmm. okay. Okay, she been locked out, she been into a, uh, apa nama English dia kan? Asylum tu eh? Asylum tu kan, okay. And then, uh, dia kurung seorang, I forget the English term of it, okay. See what in the movie what she did. That inspire a lot of people. So that shows that, okay, all right. If you've been locked out in a prison at all, but you have a bar, a bar to do a pull up, you're good to go. If you have, sedangkan kat rumah you banyak lagi, you have a chair to do a push up, you have a chair and then you're good to go. So, yeah. Kat rumah memang we have the limitation. We yeah. can, we, we have to accept it. We have yeah. to learn to accept it. But we use our limitation as our advantage. Yeah. Remaining that our limitation is like okay, kat gym tu uh, kita bro yang I minat angkat heavy tu tak ada lah. I tak ada tak dapat nak inspiration. I suka tengok dia kan. Ataupun I suka instructor lady tu semua. Instructor lady tak ada okay tak apa. Sekarang ni you kena have uh, Sarah Connor mentality. You kena jadi Sarah Connor dalam Terminator tu. Which is like she have she is like Uh, one woman show yep. She have to get stronger Untuk lawan semua pre- apa Predator pula Itu cerita lain Terminator ah, bang Kau dah jangan lah. jangan lari Jangan lari It movie bro predator. Dah lari pula okay. Kau dah pernah ada Arnold Schwarzenegger pun Sekejap Predator pun ada Schwarzenegger eh? San- <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. So they have to learn With this Terminator So In other words It's like uh, Kalau nak work out seseorang ni You have to Have the feeling of The coolness Of Sarah Connor Okay. Uh, okay, so you can relate. Or if you have, uh, anyone watch Arrow? Arrow, Green Arrow? Green Arrow. Steven, Steven Amell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the TV, TV yeah, series. Yeah, Steven Amell. Yeah. Steven Amell, kan? Okay, oh. right. So what he did? He did all minimalist workout. Boom, ketang, ketang, ketang. What he need? He need just a few weights and then a few pull up bar. Get it done. Uh, or you see, uh, My the best thing to watch for me is like jangan tengok Rocky. Rocky tu advance sangat. Apa Rocky Bobo tu? Rocky uh, Rocky 4. Oh. Okay. Either uh, Drago Ivan oh. dengan And Rocky uh, training dua-dua sangat sangat advance because Rocky pun dia you have to, to panjat gunung. Panjat gunung. And then you kena lari. Sekali kerajaan kata kawasan anda dikenakan PKPD, tak boleh keluar. Yeah. Takkan kau orang nak lari macam Rocky kan? I have a tiger nak tatang tang <laughs> kena lari polis dek 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 tak boleh tak boleh keluar dek masuk 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 dalam ah tak boleh so kena lari kan tapi feeling tak rumah tak ada so the best movie to get inspiration for people who work out at home is for me is like uh, the dark knight rises christian bale punya christian bale punya bila ben dah pukul dia sampai dia patah panggang ah. tu kan lepas tu dia he have to work he have to with the broken spine he have to work out so it is like The guy he been hanging him, okay, he have to do lot sit up or whatever kan, and then mm. he get stronger. Mm. Ah, so bila kita dalam lockdown tu kita kita tengok cerita cerita macam tu tau. Meaning that tak ada lah kita nak poyo macam dia orang kan. Tapi kita dapat inspiration. Okay, with a minimal equipment or minimalist training, I can get workout. But once the gym open, When? okay, I cepat cepat pergi. Obviously jaga SOP and then with the terpaksa lagi minta jauh. I I know what to do. Okay. Ah, uh, that's the approach. Yeah. yeah. I like the fact that tadi you ada cakap way, way, way before this, all these movies. Uh-huh. Uh, I like the fact that you mentioned that um, pilih remaja nak work out, all uh-huh. the youngsters nak yeah. work out, they will always want to go for shortcuts. Yes. They want to get it quick. Yeah. Nak cepat, nak efektif. Uh-huh. And that will eventually get them injured in the future. Yes. Tapi kalau, what if kalau orang tu tak work out pula? Orang tu tak work out? Yeah, what will, ha- what will happen for them? Okay, future. all right. If you don't work out, 
uh, sorry to say it's like a waste lah sebab mm-hmm. our muscle our body have specialty yeah. okay and our muscle strength or our muscle uh, yeah. value drop after 27 uh, 26 years old okay. so meaning oh. kita punya apa kita forget 26 tu is like our muscle mass or something something uh, something in the body so after 26 like kalau you tak work out you will like drop lah okay. mm. so orang yang tak work out kita tak boleh paksa dia Okay, kita tak boleh paksa dia. So, might ajak him or her pergi jalan-jalan at least breaking a sweat. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, meaning that, okay, sekarang ni I tak suka workout lah. Tapi, jomlah kita pergi mall. Huh? Okay. Pergi mall. Pergi mall tak ada barang yang nak beli. Dia nak beli barang kat situ. Kita bawa dia jalan, jalan, jalan. At least dapat workout. So, at least you burn, you burn your, your steps will burn your calories lah. Steps will burn your calories. So, meaning that people kalau dia tak nak workout, we, 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 we jangan pause. Sometimes, okay. salah kita juga. Kita macam, Apalah kau ni Tengok mm-hmm. TV saja, Tengok yeah. Netflix kan mm. Tak nak work out Exercise sikit Haa ah, yelah mak Apa dia pun tengok Ataupun dia main game Kepada semua Waktu my time is like Tekken 5 Haa <laughs> Mak ayah Allah Lama tak lama Lama, lama tak lama kan bro PS1 lah kan Haa <laughs> PS1 lah tu kan Tekken 5 kan So Pada orang tak nak exercise Okay tak apa And then Kalau dia tak nak exercise Kita cari physical activity Yang dia suka Oh I tak suka lah Pergi gym ni semua kan Tapi kan I suka tengok apa tau? I suka tengok apa benda tu a uh, Jet Li, Bruce Lee semua. I nak pergi join kung fu punya kelas ah. Ah, ha? bawa dia bawa pergi kelas kung fu. Bawa dia kelas pergi body combat. Ah, body combat ke apa semua kan? Hmm. Ah. So find that things yang dia minat. I, I tak minat lah exercise ni. I suka I suka joget-joget. Apa ah, gila? Dulu-dulu apa poco-poco kan? <laughs> Time poco-poco ke zumba di taman. Okey tak apa. Pergi je. Pergi je kan. Janji dapat workout kan. Ha, so the thing is like okay. Dengan orang yang tak tak ada. Belum mendapat hidayat lagi. Kita tak boleh push. Mm. Okay. Ha, okay. Kita slow and steady. So kita bawa pada benda yang dia suka. Okay. Ha. So okay lah. Last question lah. Last question. Okay. Ni this is the. Aku rasa like. I think this is more of a, uh, my pet peeve lah. Annoying sikit lah. Ha. Dia nak pergi workout. Okay. Tapi nak workout satu body part sahaja. Okay. And cause like contohnya lah. End goal dia. Oh nak bontok besar. Uh-huh. Ataupun nak shoulder besar. That's uh-huh. it. Tempat lain tak nak train. Tapi situ je nak train. What's the effect of that? Okay. Uh, we know these people lah. <laughs> yeah, we know these this, this kind of people. Okay, alright. So, uh, the word for it is a sport reducing. Okay. Kalau dalam fitness terms, like, uh, there's no such thing as sport reducing. But there's a kind of thing of sport enhancing. Meaning that, okay. Sport reduce ni mana? Okay. Uh, benda lain tak nak buat. I punya perut buncit ni, I nak buat tu je. Lepas tu dia pergi ke gym just buat sidap, 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 sidap. Lepas tu tengok lepas satu tahun perut dia macam tu juga. Okay. Lepas tu macam ladies kan. Oh, Every day is hashtag ham day. I want to work the booty. Booty, 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 booty. Tapi macam tu juga saya ni. Okay. Alright. The thing is because uh, in order for us body to get a really nice body. Okay. Yeah. We have to work the whole body. Okay. okay. So yeah. we tak boleh macam nitpicking. Okay. Uh, Uh, tak nak lah nak, nak besarkan bicep je Sebab besar bicep kan yep. uh, Tapi Daripada Januari 2021 Sampai lah Disember 2021 Bicep dia macam tu je Macam ni Saja kecil je Tapi hari hari buat bicep So the thing is Alright Okay People need to do this Okay If you're training You have to work on the movement And work on the muscles The movement is like You have to do compound exercise Exercise yang uh, Multi joint Macam alright To be the classic way is like squat, deadlift, mm. and then some presses or pull ups. Mm. Muscle muscle besar, eh? dan juga multiple joints, so that you can work the whole body. Okay. Alright. Then number two, if you have issues, suddenly alamak, I punya tricep menggelebek gelebek kan? So I say I goyang goyang kan? Uh, then yes, after you do your main compound lift, then you will work on oh, it. Yeah. Uh, work on it. Ataupun you ada injury. If I do the basic, uh, the basic component exercise, let's say, oh, I have issues with my knees, or okay, I have to do hamstring curl a lot, hamstring exercise a lot. So the thing is that people yang need picking ni, I'm oh, sorry to say, ah, uh, kita kena slow talk dengan dia, kita kena uh, bawa dia sedarkan dia supaya dia jangan need picking sebab dia rugi pada dia tau. Yeah. Sebab yeah, like I mentioned just now, January 1st, 2001 until December 31st, 2000 and ah, uh, 2021. Asyik main bicep saja, bicep tak besar. tak besar. So, he have to know that if he works on his chin up, okay, and he works on a row, 
it like over stimulating the bicep juga yeah. so bicep dia and then dia tambah lagi extra bicep bicep dia kamsa and then these people need to know so beside that they have to exercise these people need to know that we are not equally built ah hmm. okay maknanya alright ada orang yang macam guys ada orang yang torso dominant you are very torso dominant meaning that you buat exercise apa torso you besar Tangan Cina ni yeah. hmm. Ada orang yang arm dominant Tapi chest kecil Tapi chest kecil Tapi bila dia buat tangan dia macam Kita tengok sunnah sikit Ladies pun macam tu Okay And then ladies have to know Alright uh, I'm not racist I'm not saying good bad thing But Chinese Or oriental girls uh, Dia orang nak build up Dia buti susah mm-hmm. Genetically speaking Genetically speaking And then they want to build up Dia Okay Apa body also susah uh, Malay girl They have like thunder ties, macam perhul besar. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. And then Indian lady defend, Indian lady defend. Ada yang apa slender right what say okay. Once you know that okay, my body is macam ni. Alright, if I train like this, it stimulate more like this. Okay, let's say that I try to build up myself, but I am a torso dominant. So yeah, bicep you mungkin tak sebesar tu, and then but if you work on your chest or something, it's better. Yep. So meaning that you have to be realistic. Kalau badan you is built for that And then you have to look To work on it Jangan macam Oh, I tengok apa Gymshark model I tengok TikTok influencer <laughs> semua Wow This is how you do by set oh, Macam yeah. tu kan Kita pun nak buat macam ni Eh, jangan, jangan Sebab dia Like you mentioned that, Okay, because, uh, the youngsters want a Quick quick one Quick yeah. one And then the media They know this They know this That's why this influencer They Menyuapkan kepada Minda The younger guys That okay This is the one This is the one And then Basically what the influencer do Is that They don't work out like that They do a lot of things They do do the basic stuff Tapi sebab Dia orang dapat rating Dekat Instagram Dekat TikTok Then they will like Do all the crappy stuff lah mm. uh, So Some of them Some not of them all, So not. to answer <laughs> Mike ni People have to know To have to like Err uh, Work out secara menyuruh, mm. menyuruh, and then they have to know what their body can or cannot do. Understood. Ah, yeah. All right. Wow. Okay, we learn a lot today. Yeah. <coughs> we learn a lot. Thank you so much, Abang Lan. Sama-sama. Alhamdulillah, so much. So, bro, just say thank you so much, Laratang. Thank you yeah. so much. We hope you had fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you had fun. Hopefully we 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 learn a lot lah. Yeah. yeah. We kita banyak belajar lah. So, Abang Lan, terima kasih sangat sangat. Sama-sama. Sama. Harap-harap so, saya tak merapu lah. <laughs> <laughs> tak tak banyak banyak. <laughs> Banyak fakta yang kita dapat belajar lah. So, maaf lah. Aircon ni sejuk sikit eh. Tak apa, so, faham. <laughs> Dia orang putih kata inside. Cik. Cik. <laughs> orang Melayu kata pencerahan. Ah, ah. Dah cerah dah lama. Kalau kat siasia, kita kata tulis shine. Alamak. Ah. <laughs> Selit juga. Selit. Of course. Always have a reference. <laughs> so, Amalan, I just want to say, uh, I think that's all of the right. time we have today. Yep. Terima kasih. So, terima kasih sangat for datang. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to our podcast here at Sehat Sehat by Sehat Sehat with Abang Azlan Zain, alright? I'm Mike Azmin. I'm Anna Joa. We're out. Bye-bye.